Hi, and welcome back to Miss Cutie Style Southern Comfort Cooking. Today, I'm not really going to be cooking. I'm going to be more as, let's say, putting it together. I will cook the meat. But as you see here, this is what I'm going to be cooking, but I'm going to try to make it my way. This is called a toast taco. Basically, it's a taco on a tostada shell. Okay, and this is the Rachel Ray's way of doing it. I'm going to do it similar to her, but then I'm not going to add this um, sour cream that's on top. But it'll be just like this. So first of all, we have some um, lean ground beef. I did not want to use turkey. I wanted to use the ground beef, so that's what I would be using. Um, I have a little bit of cilantro and bell peppers. No onions. I thought I had an onion in there, but I could not find it. Here's my tostadas that I used the other day when I made um, the ceviche. And there's some left, so it's perfect to make some tacos with. And I have this can of diced green tomatoes in chili. I may or may not use this because we do have um, salsa here. So we may not need that, those tomatoes, but we'll see. Then I have the jalapeno cheese sauce in a can. May or may not use that. I don't know. Because we have mild cheddar that I can sprinkle on top. I just put it all out because I'm not sure on how I'm going to do it. Might use both. Then we have the refried beans, Ortega, um, and we have jalapenos. So basically, we're going to make this little mixture. Now this is great for, like right now it's almost 10 o'clock in L.A. I'm hungry, but I don't feel like cooking a big meal. This is something quick. So basically, let me get started on making the the tacos no toast tacos <laughs> oh and I forgot to add I found this taco seasoning mix I'm gonna add that to the ground beef to give it some flavor that way I don't have to really put any salt or pepper or anything on it if I don't want to so I'm gonna add okay, this to the so ground beef the meat is done and I'm about to plate it up as you see here I have one tostado for my mom this one is my daughter and I had to be different I have some of those lime Tostitas <laughs> chips, and then I cracked up a, a tostada for me. So first, we add the meat. And again, this is toast tacos, or you can call them nachos, what have you. See, and it's just enough meat for all of us. You want more meat, Liz? Or that's good. That's good. You need more. I need a little bit more meat. Let me just go ahead on and knock that out. Give my mama some more, and see, we done with the meat. Okay, then I have a little refried beans here. It may not look all that good, but trust me, it's good. Just put a little bit on top, <laughs> and it's the Ortega refried beans. I don't like a lot, just a little. Now next, I'm going to add cheese. This is jalapeno cheese. Ooh, I got a <laughs> big blob on my daughter's jalapeno cheese. Or you can use any cheese. I just had that can in there, so I said, let me use it. Then next, you want salsa on yours? Yeah. Next, I'm going to add some uh, mild salsa. Is it mild? I think it is. Like I said, remember I was going to use that can. I'm not going to, I said I might use that can. I'm not going to use it. Just going to use that. I want something quick. And then we're going to add jalapenos. Jalapenos with a little of the juice. No, plop, plop, more for me. And of course, got to have the top of tea, y'all. Y'all hear that? Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, you guys. <laughs> we could add sour cream or what have you, but I think this is enough. So this is our little late night um, snack and something quick. I'm sure the kids would um, enjoy it. Maybe without the um, jalapenos, but if you just want to do a quick meal for your kids or what have you, something simple, this will be it. And so this is Rachel Ray's, and this is mine. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs>